Now on our report for today, the Resident Electoral Commission, RAC, in Ondo State, Mrs. Oluatui Babalola, has assured those coming to polling units to sell votes that the commission is ready to send them to jail in conjunction with security agencies. The RAC made the promise at the weekend during a press briefing on the commission's readiness for the forthcoming gubernatorial election in the state as the commission's headquarters in Akure. The report as presented from our studio. As emphasized by the Western Electoral Commission, REC, buyers and sellers will be handed over to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and other agencies in charge. According to Mrs. Babalola, the Commission is working tirelessly to curb all forms of indiscipline during and after the election. However, on the voter registration and PVC collection, she said INEC has concluded the continuous voter registration CVR exercise, which has witnessed a significant increase in registered voters across the state. I have 100% but you know, we noticed over the years that it keeps doing doing good. But if you notice for some time that the last two, three electoral cycles, the commission has been doing a lot and putting in a lot of resources to engage people. Like this grassroots engagement we just had. It's not it's not cheap. This one of the reasons why those people are sent out is so that they can go to the grassroots. I'll give you an example. When we had the CBR exercise, we had civil societies in all the 18 local governments. And they kept going from church to mosque to motor parks. We have pictorial evidence. From church to motor park to market, they went everywhere. So that that time we had over 100,000 turnout during the CBR exercise. We have started the same thing. You are in the city, so you are not likely to see it until maybe when we do our road show on your television, you see. But we are doing a lot. And one of the things that can make voters is the assurance of fairness. We keep assuring them every day the election will be free fair and credible. And one of the things I've discovered that causes voter apathy, especially in the urban areas, because people have a lot of things they want to do with their time, nobody wants to waste so much time staying at a polling unit. We in INEP with those things have taken a decision. We will be the ones waiting for the voters. Voters will not we were able to achieve this in Akoko North, Akoko South, Akoko North East, Akoko North West Federal Constituency Election. And we believe that God be on our side, we'll be able to open polls early. We have set up different platforms. She also revealed that after the successful conclusion of the CVR exercise, 58,780 new voters were registered. In addition, 3,132 voters transferred their registration into Ondo State, while 123 voters transferred the registration out of the state. The harmonized total number of new registered voters, therefore, with the old registered voters, now amount to 2,053,061. There is just writing from the home, from your homes, or just imagining. Since what we are doing, is open. It is good for you to know the process. On this note, our dear esteemed members of the press, may I, on behalf of INEC Kudo State, welcome you to this press briefing, which is organized to provide an update on our level of preparedness for the 2024 Obesity Commission election, which is scheduled to hold on 16 November 2024. As one of the distinguished election stakeholders, I'm pleased to inform you that INEC, in collaboration with other stakeholders, has been working around the clock to ensure a each credible, fair, free, fair, 
peaceful, transparent, and inclusive election. Allow me to highlight some of our key areas of preparation. I will start with your constituency, which is voter registration. I'm oh, sorry, I will start with voter registration because if we don't have registered voters, we can have uh, election. INEC has conducted the continuous voter registration exercise. We saw a significant increase in registered voters across the state. After the successful conclusion of the CVR, 58,708 new voters were registered. In addition, 3,112 voters transferred their registration into Odo State, while 123 voters transferred their registration out of Odo State. The harmonized total number of new registered voters with the old registered voters is now 2,053,061. I will run through a breakdown. Out of these registered voters, we have 50%, 50 50.36% are male, while 49.64% are female. We have the youth, they are 35.41%, middle age 35.17%, the elderly 21.51%, the old, they lost 7.92. And persons with disability are 0.9%. From the above, from this information, it's well established that the registration exercise was inclusive, transparent, and accessible to all eligible citizens, including marginalized groups such as women, the youth, and persons with disability. As, they are, as we are the commencement of the description of Permanent voters card from the CVR exercise. We want all registered voters in previous registration exercise who are yet to collect their PPC to also come out and do so as the process is already ongoing and during that distribution we we'll also share old cards. We shall simplify the collection process and establish PVC collection centers in all registration areas and in all local government areas for ease of access. On election materials, I'm pleased to inform you that a large percentage of our non-sensitive election materials for the election have been received. We received these materials in September and within three days we deployed to the local governments. All the local governments, they are bashed to RA. So if election is coming up tomorrow, those materials that we already collected from the headquarters are ready. We are working closely with the relevant security agencies and stakeholders to ensure safe storage and timely distribution of materials on the eve of election. Recruitment and training of adult staff. The portal for recruitment of adult staff for the election has been closed, and presently we are in the stage of advising those who applied as adult election officials for the purpose of inviting the qualified ones for training. Our focus during recruitment has been on competence, mutuality, and professionalism. 